coach, not what you wanted to expect, but if I was to tell you that you be, you go one and one against Gonzaga and BYU, you have to be at least somewhat happy about that, not way, the way the game turned out, though. Yeah, no, it's, it, you know, it felt like we had some tired legs out there and, and mostly just a little bit of emotional fatigue. Um, but, you, you know, you got to give BYU a lot of credit. They kept us out of the paint and they did a good job of uh, turning us over. Um, we, weren't, we didn't get the steals that we normally get and they, they just did a, they did a good job of executing and, and not kind of not falling into our game plan. They did a good job of that. Um, so, yeah, you know, you know, if you were to tell me we'd be 3-1 and one at the end of these first two weeks, I, I probably would have taken it. Um, and so we will, we will regroup, use a day off to kind of rest up and, and get ready to go again next week. It seemed like BYU just kind of went out the, right out the gates, which was pretty much trying to do what they can. It, it was a 19-19 game at, after the first quarter, but after that it seemed like the BYU Cougars were able to settle down and get into their into their kind of game plan. What can you take away from the game? What are you going to tell these girls after the, in the locker room that, uh, for the Tigers to keep it positive? Yeah, you know, we needed a few things to go our way. We needed a little bit more scoring punch from our starters um, than we got. And, and Desire was a little under the weather today, and I think that showed. And, and uh, but we, we do need that scoring punch from our from our starters. Um, you know, just we have to stay positive. There's there are a lot of things that we're doing well right now. Uh, BYU made us made us do some things. <laughs> Uh, they've been also pretty bad as well. You got to give them credit for that, um, and and we'll we'll keep our heads up and, and get ready to attack the next team. The next team is is coming up here fairly soon, and that's it's on the road as we're talking right now, and it's uh, against well it goes on the road and it's Pepperdine. So um, what are you Pepperdine? You haven't had a chance to look at them, but uh, yet, but. No, well, Pepperdine is not as no slouch when it comes to WCC, but it is, they are having their own struggles as well. Uh, but uh, you got to be ready for them on um, Thursday. Yeah, you know I have I've seen a couple of their games just because we played Gonzaga right after they played them, and, and uh, you, know, you just kind of watch as you go. And so we know we're going to expect a little bit of zone, and, and we know a little bit of what they do. And, and the last time we see that we saw them, uh, we didn't like us too much. So. Uh, we're definitely going to look forward to, to getting getting up to go back go down there to Malibu and play the game. So I remember, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, that yeah. time was in Orleans Arena, right? Yes, they were. So, looking forward to uh, hopefully getting a rebound off that and uh, rebounding off this game. There's a three and one in conference is uh, something to very be very much be proud of and. Uh, Good luck against Pepperdine coming up on Thursday. Yeah, the conference doesn't slow down, so we gotta, we gotta keep it going. Thank you so much. Thanks, coach. Appreciate it. Hi everyone, my name is Emily Simons. I'm on the women's basketball team here at University of the Pacific and you're listening to the Pacific Tiger Radio Network on 91.9.